Katsuzo Nishi was a Japanese scientist, engineer by training, professor. He was a sickly child. It was said that he would hardly live to be 20 years old. So the problem of health promotion became a matter of life and death for Nishi, and he created his famous health system step by step. It is based on the work of traditional medicine, ancient Greek and ancient Egyptian healers, Tibetan and Chinese practices, and many other sources of knowledge. There's a simple comparison that can help us understand how thoughts affect our well-being and therefore our health, says Katsuzo Nishi. I will live 10 years, and I will die in 10 years. The first option is reassuring and encouraging. The second leads to discouragement and despair. Nishi notes that anxious thoughts not only drain our vital energy, but also make us feel tired, empty, and indifferent to life. Depressive thoughts also affect all of our body systems and accelerate aging. Having studied Japanese wisdom about longevity and overcoming one's own difficulties, Nishi Katsuzo derived some principles for eliminating negative thoughts and feelings from our lives. Work on improving your posture. Have you ever wondered how street criminals choose their victims? It's simple. They look for people with a wobbly gait and they're always hunched over. It's safer to attack someone like that than someone who walks confidently and stands up straight, Nishi says. According to Nishi, the first thing people see around them is their posture. People with a hunched back look preoccupied and depressed. People around them have the worst opinion of such people and do not make a positive impression on them. However, if you spread your shoulders and back, people will respect you and have good thoughts and feelings about you. That is why warriors and court nobles are very careful about their posture. For example, Japanese noble women practice their posture for months. They would put a flat object on their head and walk up and down the stairs with it, Nishi explains. In Japan, poor posture is also considered a sign of illness. When people are sick, they pay less attention to their appearance and tend to slouch. Nishi says that maintaining posture during illness and taking extra care of physical fitness can help speed recovery. To find out if posture affects thinking, Nishi Katsuzo suggests observing people around you and yourself. What is the most common posture people adopt when they hear sad news? Slumped shoulders. People who are happy straighten their shoulders. Katsuzo Nishi suggests sitting for a few minutes with your shoulders slumped, observing your emotions, then straighten your shoulders and watch your emotions change. In order to significantly improve your mental and physical health, you need to develop good posture. You should perform the practice high bamboo while walking. Imagine yourself as a bamboo, mentally attach a long string to the top of your head, lift your spirit up and rise above the forest. After some time of doing this practice, you will realize it will now take considerable effort for you to walk slouching. Don't let your anger go. Don't feel sorry for yourself. We often feel physically weak after violent outbursts of anger. This is because when we explode with uncontrollable emotions, we lose vitality. When the emotions subside, we realize that we should not have exploded in anger or wasted energy. Anger can cause blood vessels to burst. At best, you will lose your health. At worst, your life. How many people in the world have died of strokes or heart attacks because they couldn't control themselves? There are ways to control your emotions when the situation calls for it, says Nishi Katsuzo. When something has made you angry and the anger starts to penetrate you, Nishi recommends the following. Take a deep breath, clench your right fist, and mentally let all the anger pass over your shoulder. Then release your fist and let go of the anger. This practice can be repeated several times. A walk will help you let go of your anger. Emotions are sure to calm down and not hurt you. For example, tear a piece of paper into small pieces, hit a pillow or a punching bag. However, strong negative emotions should be avoided. The Japanese know that such emotions have a negative effect on internal organs and systems. That is why the Japanese are always polite. Nishi Katsuzo believes that this is one of the reasons for the longevity of the Japanese. One of the negative feelings that worsen health is self-pity. A person may experience self-pity in old age, in illness, in difficult life situations. If a person feels sorry for himself when he is sick, then this feeling only worsens his health. 
The same happens if a person regrets the years that have passed. It would help you to get rid of self-pity by doing something for your soul. That's what one of my students, Ito Manabu, says Katsuzo Nishi did. When Manabu Ito was 29 years old, he became seriously ill. His wife and two children left him. Ito was left in the care of his older brother. One day, the older brother brought Ito a bag of rice. Instead of feeling sorry for the sick man, the older brother became angry with Ito and told him to look for work. Ito objected that he was too sick and weak to work. Then his brother suggested that he weave hats. This work brought in a lot of money. Ito's business soon grew. He also began to fight for his recovery and did everything the doctors told him to do. Ito celebrated his 34th birthday with his brother. He came with his wife and three children. Ito thanked his brother for his determined and stern attitude, which took away his self-pity and gave him back his vitality. At the end of the day, to get rid of negative feelings and restore vitality, you can make a diorama, a miniature tray with stones from the river or sea. Instead of grass, you can put moss. You can also install small houses, a bridge, and different figures. Contemplating such a garden will give you peace of mind, says Nishi.